Hello again, it's Brett Hannabrink with SciTime. Today we are going to discuss the top 8 reasons to use MEMS oscillators instead of quartz crystals. Let's go ahead and get started. Every electronic system needs a timing device, and crystal resonators are often the go-to solution. However, oscillators, which pair the resonator with an oscillator IC into one integrated timing device, offer several benefits compared to crystals. MEMS timing technology brings significant added value in using oscillators compared to traditional quartz crystal resonators. System designers do not need to accept the headaches and limitations associated with crystals. In this module, we will cover the top eight reasons to use MEMS oscillators instead of quartz crystals. Number one being that oscillators are plug and play and are very simple to design. Two, they offer better quality and reliability, which lowers cost. Three, smaller package, which reduces PCB area. Four, the capability to drive multiple loads, replacing two to three quartz crystals, which lowers cost and reduces PCB area. 5. Lower sensitivity to electromagnetic energy as much as 134 times. 6. Immune to vibration, 10 times lower sensitivity. 7. Available on any frequency with short lead times. And 8. Reduced qualification efforts with programmable platform. Let's look at reason number 1. Simplifying system design. On the surface, oscillator design using quartz crystals might seem straightforward, especially considering the maturity of this technology. But there is a myriad of design parameters to consider in order to match the crystal to the oscillator circuit. Among these parameters are crystal motional impedance and oscillator negative resistance, resonant mode and drive level. Additionally, load capacitance must be considered parallel for resonant mode crystals. The total load capacitance must include PCB parasitic capacitance as well as integrated capacitance which may also be included in the oscillator circuit. All of these parameters must be carefully considered to ensure reliable startup and operation of the circuit. An oscillator circuit requires close matching of the resonator to the oscillator circuit. Therefore, crystal vendors cannot guarantee startup of the crystal. By contrast, side time oscillators are a completely integrated solution and the oscillator matches the quartz resonator to the oscillator circuit. Startup is therefore guaranteed. In short, Oscillators are a plug-and-play solution that simplifies design. Reason number two, MEMS oscillators offer much better quality and reliability. Quality is very important. Company reputations are at stake and rework can be costly and time-consuming. Moreover, systems which are deployed outdoors and exposed to environmental stresses must be especially robust. Quartz resonators, while a mature technology, involve a rather complicated manufacturing process in which each individual resonator is tuned to the desired frequency, usually by ablating the metal electrode with an ion beam. This process, which occurs before the crystal is encapsulated, is susceptible to contamination. Because of this process and other complexities with quartz manufacturing, the mean time between failures of quartz can be as low as 14 to 38 million hours with defective parts per million as high as 50 for the best quartz manufacturers and as high as 150 for tier 2 quartz suppliers. In contrast, MEMS manufacturers use standard semiconductor batch mode techniques and the MEMS is vacuum sealed with an epi seal process to ensure the structure is completely encapsulated and free form contamination. As a result, the DPPM and MTBF of SciTime oscillators are about 30 times better than quartz. They provide a very reliable technology platform which can endure severe environmental stresses and provide a high quality product for the end user. Reason number three, MEMS low frequency oscillator solutions consume 65% less space on the board. SciTime's 1.5 millimeter by 0.8 millimeter Oscillators are a completely integrated solution and do not require external components such as power supply decoupling caps. The 1508 footprint is smaller than the smallest quartz crystal footprint at 1.6 millimeters by 1.2 millimeters and when taking into account load capacitors that are needed for the 32 kilohertz quartz crystal, the total board area for the crystal solution is almost three times larger. Reason number four, oscillators can drive multiple loads, saving costs and further reducing board space. An oscillator is an active circuit with an output driver that is usually capable of driving two to three loads depending on the drive strength. This allows the oscillator to replace several crystals, reducing system cost and board area. Reason number five, MEMS oscillators are much less sensitive to EMI. 
EMI can be picked up by exposed PCB traces which connect the quartz resonator to the IC containing the oscillator circuit. This noise can be coupled into the oscillator circuit and passed to the output, potentially adding jitter and noise to the system. By contrast, MEMS oscillators have no exposed PCB connections between the MEMS resonator and IC containing the oscillator. And the bond wires that connect the MEMS resonator to the CMOS IC are extremely short. This results in MEMS oscillators having up to 11.3 dBm lower sensitivity than quartz resonators. Reason number six, MEMS oscillators are much less sensitive to vibration. Electronic systems are often exposed to environmental stresses such as vibration, especially systems that are deployed outdoors. Wind heavy vehicles and trains are a few examples of the many sources of external vibration. Internal to many systems are cooling fans, which are another source of vibration stress. These vibration stresses can induce frequency shift and noise on the crystal resonator. In extreme cases, vibration can cause system failure and service interruption, especially in systems that need a very stable frequency reference, such as wireless base stations and small cells. A key reason MEMS oscillators are resistant to shock and vibration is that MEMS resonators have approximately 1,000 to 3,000 times lower mass than quartz resonators. This means a given acceleration imposed on a MEMS structure such as from shock or vibration will result in much lower force than its quartz equivalent and therefore induce a much lower frequency shift. This graph shows the 10 times lower vibration sensitivity of side time MEMS oscillators versus quartz oscillators. Note this graph is based on measurements of quartz oscillators rather than passive crystal resonators, but comparable results are expected on quartz crystal resonators. Reason number seven, MEMS oscillators are readily available in any frequency. The quartz supply infrastructure has several constraints which can result in long lead times on the order of 12 to 6 weeks or even longer. One constraint is the limited number of ceramic package suppliers. Another constraint is that every frequency needs a different crystal cut. Therefore, availability of non-standard frequencies can be very long. In contrast, the output frequency of MEMS oscillators is generated simply by programming the phase lock loop to different multiplication values. This enables a very wide frequency range with six digits of accuracy. In addition, MEMS oscillators use standard semiconductor processes and plastic packaging and are therefore completely decoupled from the ceramic package supply chain. Sample lead time can be one day even for non-standard frequencies. By using SciTime's low-cost Time Machine 2 programmer and field programmable oscillators, designers can instantly program a device with any frequency, any supply voltage, and any stability within the product's operating range. Production volume lead times are six to eight weeks. Reason number eight, qualification efforts can be reduced with MEMS oscillators. This is important since component qualification can consume significant time and resources. Sidetime products are based on a programmable platform which allows each device within a product family to generate a wide range of frequencies, supply voltages, and stabilities. For example, if resources have been invested in qualifying a sidetime device at a particular output frequency and a new board design requires a different frequency, the existing qualification data may be extended to this new frequency within the base part family. In contrast, each crystal frequency requires a different quartz blank, and if a design requires frequencies above 60 MHz, a different technology than fundamental mode quartz is often used as a third overtone quartz. Use of third overtone quartz can introduce additional challenges to ensure reliable startup and will certainly require qualification. In summary, designing with MEMS oscillators offers many benefits relative to quartz resonators. This list includes making the designer's life easier with plug and play solutions and guaranteed startup, making the procurement engineer life easier with short lead times and potentially reduced qualification effort, increasing quality and reliability, reducing BOM costs by replacing multiple resonators with one oscillator, increasing robustness with much lower sensitivity to vibration and electromagnetic energy. That is all for today. Thank you for watching.